it makes me sad, and I'm just going to say it, that Bernie and Joe are polling so much higher. God bless you. Bernie and Joe are polling so much higher than these women. And I, I, I know that dog whistle. I know my little ears prick up. I know what that is. It's even women who are afraid oh, to I've vote for women. And, you know, Bernie, I, and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't believe Bernie's ever passed a bill. And I, I'm, I don't like the Bernie bros. I'm sorry. They're like Trumpers. They come at me and they threaten me in the same way. And I don't like that base. I don't like and I don't trust. All right. So that was uh, Kathy Griffin. Once again, uh, going after Senator Bernie Sanders, as well as supporters of Senator Bernie Sanders, and saying that they are just like Trump supporters. I mean, of course, because, you know, people who believe in health care without co-pays or deductibles for every single man, woman, and child in America are the same as the people who marched in Charlottesville with tiki torches saying the Jews were not replace us. Bernie Sanders, by the way, is Jew. Uh, so... <laughs> I, can't, I, don't, I don't know, man. If you're Kathy Griffin, I can't tell the difference. I mean, this is somebody who's obviously an overpaid, out-of-touch celebrity who uh, got herself in quite a bit of trouble, by the way, for what she did with a so-called decapitated Trump head. But is it any wonder why this erupted into a firestorm on social media? Uh, I want to read you a couple of fun tweets from this. For one, uh, Kamala Harris is a cop, tweeted, and uh, this is like a fake quote of, Ber of uh, Kathy Griffin. I hate Bernie Sanders because poor people who need health care were mean to me online. Well, that is kind of the crux of what she's uh, saying. Uh, and so she continued to double down on Twitter. Uh, in a thread about the recent Bob Mueller hearing, she had a sudden response to this. Uh, and this is from Terry Gidwitz with The Squad. I'm more concerned that you're likening Bernie supporters to Trump supporters. It's a gross generalization and dismissive and an insult. All right. Griffin responded, OMG, can you Bernie bros just take a seat this year and sit the F down in a stadium full of seats? How did this plan of attack work out for you last time? I thought so. Just stay home. If that's what you're so proud of, Bernie or bust, right? Well, now, wait a minute here. <laughs> what, what attack? This person saying, hey, look, maybe you shouldn't say that we're just like Trump supporters. That's kind of inaccurate and actually super inaccurate, to which, of course, she went off the rails and decides to attack. Instead of saying, hey, you know what? I understand where you're coming from. I have been attacked by the more militant members of Sanders supporters. And trust me, they're out there, just like they're out there for every single campaign. I don't think you're all like Trump supporters. I'm sorry. Every campaign has terrible supporters. But that's a bigger issue and more relatable to Internet culture. That would make more sense. Instead, she says, shut up, Bernie, bro. A couple more fun tweets here. A humanist report said, nice ratio. I'm wondering if you and Trump still keep in touch. I know you two used to be close. And there's, of course, a picture of Kathy Griffin next to Donald Trump. Disastrous. Winkle the Bernie bro. Oh, this, you know, this is going to be good, right? Said, Kathy Griffin, you literally just called a woman a Bernie bro because she has a problem with you using a generalized negative false stereotype. You really don't see anything wrong with what you said at all, do you? No, no. And, and this is a problem. They don't see anything wrong at all. They think, no, no, no. I'm 100% right because, for one, cable media tells me that there are Bernie bros. And, yes, I say things that get a negative response on Twitter from certain people pointing out maybe some hypocrisy here. And then I come to the conclusion, because I'm an absolute genius, that every single person who supports a specific candidate must be the same. Because I got attacked a couple of times. No rational person thinks, oh, no, that person, completely the same as everybody else. They're all the same. I don't trust them. I don't, I don't like them. I don't trust them because they're just like Trump people. No, they're not. It's ridiculous, right? It's about as ridiculous as saying that every Clinton supporter on Twitter is a terrible person and attacks me constantly because they're so mean. No, no, I've had interactions with people that I disagree with, Clinton supporters, that were perfectly fine. Disagreement, but... Absolutely respectful. 
And so it, it, it's both ways, right? There are nasty, terrible Clinton people uh, on Twitter that attack constantly and, and put out some of the most horrific lies. She's one of them. Uh, and, but there's also terrible Bernie Sanders people to, as, as well that attack others. And so here's the thing. It, it's, you know, it's, for one, it doesn't seem to be very equal. It seems to be a lot more from the Hillary Clinton side or the establishment side that does these horrible attacks, but whatever. Okay, bad on both sides, right? Uh, least we can come to is sort of that agreement, right? But now here's the thing. There's some cognitive dissonance going on here in the minds of people like Kathy Griffin. And so I want to get to that, right? Because she talked about the squad, right? So the squad is freshman congresswomen, super progressive. They were recently attacked by Donald Trump. Now, this is Representative Ilhan Omar, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Representative Rashida Tlaib, and Ayanna Presley. Uh, those four are deeply progressive. Deeply progressive. They believe in things like Medicare for all, free college, you know, living wage, etc. In fact, I believe it was Tlaib who said, you know what, $15 an hour, that's not enough. In fact, the minimum wage should be at least $20 an hour. These are deeply progressive women, right? So now, uh, what's funny is that, you know, we, we have these women, deeply progressive. She says, oh, no, I like those women. Oh, really? You, you like those women. But you failed to understand that these women were... I guess, in a way, um, inspired by Bernie Sanders. In fact, they agree with his platform. So you have this huge disconnect. And it kind of shows you that for people like Kathy Griffin, they're not at all interested in policy. It's not about policy. It's just about, what, personality? Uh, and what the media says about Bernie Sanders, because they haven't exactly been incredibly fair, right? Uh, not at all, in fact. And so, I mean, you got people like Mimi Roca out there saying that, uh, oh, he makes my skin crawl for some reason. I just can't, I can't put my finger on it. Maybe that says more about you than it does about Senator Bernie Sanders. Because if you for some reason, agree with him on policy. Uh, and yet, for some reason, he makes your skin crawl. Maybe he's not the problem. Maybe it's you. Hey, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYTNation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.